Hello everyone and welcome to World of Warplanes. Recently I posted a video to show you how am I playing Russian bombers, hoping that it will help you to improve your gameplay. Two days later I have played Russian bomber, achieving a really good score, so I thought I will show you the whole gameplay without any cuts, explaining my actions and decisions throughout the game. I will just speed up some boring parts, uh, when I was just flying to the target, uh, for example, uh, as I understand your time is precious and I don't want to waste it. If you haven't seen my first video covering reasons why I played this bomber this way, I would like to invite you to go to my channel and watch it. Without further ado, let's crack on with our gameplay. Uh, one of the other reasons I could have mentioned on the previous video, uh, when I was explaining the tactics of uh, how am I playing this bomber, uh, is why am I dropping the bombs in such a low altitude? I found that actually the bomber dropping the this bomber dropping the bombs on, on the low altitude is uh, more accurate than when I was doing it flying on a high altitude. From high altitude, I had so many misses. Uh, that was actually frustrating. You're lining it up, you're just dropping the bombs and it's actually just ex exploding somewhere on, on the side of the target. On the low altitude, I'm, I'm 100 times more accurate uh, and even uh, helping me to enable to, to destroy the whole group of targets. Uh, please remember, de destroying the whole group of targets is giving you more points and helping you to capture the base much faster, contributing to the, the better result of the whole gameplay for the whole team, because of course when you're winning the battle you're receiving more points at the end of it. As you possibly noticed after dropping the first four bombs, I flown into the safer uh, direction without any threats from my bomber. I was able to quickly reload the four bombs, uh, come back and uh, drop them again on all of the target groups. As you will see now, I did something uh, unusual. I was actually starting to hunt the uh, fighter plane. You know, I thought initially I'd, I'll give him a few, few rounds just to scare him away so he can fly away and don't be such a threat for me. Because, you know, the fighter planes on the low altitude are really dangerous. They are much more maneuverable than, than the bomber is. And they are much easier to just, just, just to turn around and uh, go behind you and take you down. So this one is actually not doing the best job, which is resulting uh, for him unfortunately being shot down. Please mind that I was continuously looking at the minimap and I've seen the rest of his uh, teammates, if I can say that way, are somewhere behind me and they are fighting other planes, so technically I didn't have so much threat. So let's speed it up to go to another point. As you can see on the minimap, I'm just going to another base to drop more bombs. Uh, and of course I am flying into many of the multiple fighters and fighters with one of them actually just just getting on my tail as you can see so i thought okay let's go let's go to the very low level uh, drop some bombs and if he was just if he's just somewhere behind me the bombs i will be just dropping should also damage him try to maneuver a little bit uh, but you know as, as as i'm too low my bombs were also damaging me a little bit and the aa artillery uh, finished me off okay let's speed it up the the boring bit as I'm joining the game, I'm trying to fly towards the uh, the base, but because it was captured, I had to just turn around. I'm not going to go into the swarm of the loads of fighters there, because I would be killed very quickly. I just turn around and start flying in towards the base that are just getting to be reactivated. I just uh, had to make a little bit of loop uh, as they were still loading, so it, I couldn't drop the bomb. In the meantime, as I was making the loop, the other fighters were managed to catch up on me and now just on my tail just trying to shoot me down so again try to go very low drop the bombs and hopefully damage them uh, flying behind me uh, when i was just pointing nose upwards when I'm, my bomber i tried to go to switch to the rear gunner and uh, shoot the plane just behind me but because the plane leveled up automatically well i just hit the mountain oops happens 
Okay, let's speed it up until we'll not reach our ground targets to drop more bombs. Um, when I was flying there, you will see in a minute, uh, I've just realized, just keep on checking minimap. So please keep on looking there. This is very important. I, I will not be keep on stressing enough of it throughout this gameplay. Uh, I've just noticed there is a single fighter plane somewhere in the front of me and I have to start just seeing whether he is chasing me. He has got the appetite to just... just uh, hunt me down or is he actually fighting with someone else and uh, well there we go uh, switching to the rear gunner uh, straight away I managed to put few bullets and looks like he's actually not, not, not after me but he's just going to another bomber so I thought like you know what let, let's let's remove the threat um, he's too close to me uh, and let's help the team to take him down and there you go now with a little bit of uh, peace of peace of mind I can just still keep on going Oh yep, yeah, sorry, another one. Uh, let's put a few bullets on another one. Uh, luckily for me, there's a lot of my teammates that are trying to cover me and allowing me to just go down and drop few more points, few few more bombs. In the meantime, the base I was planning to drop the bombs, which is on my right side, uh, was unfortunately taken. So I have to keep on flying forward to the next base. I'm of course trying to accelerate as there's too many planes, uh, enemy planes around me, try to line up the targets again, try to implement the hit and run tactics, uh, get some points and go away uh, to reload to the safe spot. So uh, as you can see again, uh, I have a plane on my tail trying to hunt me down. So let's try to go away, speed it up and see whether he can match my speed. Uh, so that, that's what I mentioned in my initial video. You, the speed is actually your advantage at some points. Trying to use the mountain as well as your shield and uh, you will see now, just uh, let's check behind. Uh, you will see, no, actually yeah, he gave up. You, we are faster with our bomber, bomber than, uh, than the fighter, some of the fighter planes can be. So, um, bombs are almost reloaded. Checking the minimap, uh, I can see few of my teammates uh, flying more or less the same direction. So let's turn around. Uh, yeah, looks like this multi-role fighter is trying to hit someone else. Let's put few bullets on him. And just just will give us few extra points. Again, accelerate, drop few bombs as uh, just to keep on scoring, and uh, move on. So it's just, it's just implementing the same tactics. Just just keep on checking the minimap. So look at the mom at the moment. I have barely anyone. And just loads of uh, loads of teammates on the same. Uh, the same area so the threat for me is relatively minimal so I can just drop the bombs again turn around uh, go behind the mountains there you go we just take the whole base again a uh, few extra points and then again look keep on looking at the minimap I've turned around again I'm, I'm aiming more towards like I'm flying back returning where m most of my teammates are coming from because uh, so, I know this this is the, my safe area uh, here I will be able to reload my bombs and look for where to go next to drop more of them. So as you can see there, the base has been uh, reloaded again. So 38, 37 seconds for having the base fully functional. And then we will be able to just make another uh, run over it. So again, keep, keep on looking at the minimap. I know if I'll turn left now, I'm relatively safe because there is more of my teammates. So again, uh, there's definitely more level of protection uh, for my bomber. I'm not just exposed as the only one flying around over the base with the AA guns just keep on firing at me and the uh, swarm pack of the enemy fighters, fighter planes, heavy fighters, multi-role fighters trying to take me down. So uh, now it came the, the counter came to zero, full acceler acceleration as, uh, as previously, line up targets, uh, drop the bombs, get more scores, get away, uh, and as you can see that the best way now keep on checking minimap because I'm just keep on looking well, I'm, even if I'm flying I'm checking the minimap so the most logic way for me now to turn around will not be left will be right and that's where I'm heading flying this way will allow me to uh, reload the bombs and quickly reevaluate the situation so uh, keep on looking at the minimap I can keep on flying straight uh, look at the minimap loads of the enemy planes I'm just leaving behind in the center uh, that at the moment seems to be too many of them, so definitely I'm not going to just go back with the bomber there. So uh, let's speed it up. Uh, I just decided to go to different location when there's no enemy planes. 
but of course, as, as the only plane me flying here over this base, I'll have a loads of enemy anti-aircraft artillery firing at me. So uh, there will be there will be some damage to my plane. Let's see how many passes I will be able to do and how many bombs I'll be able to drop. Because of course, you are the bomber, so you want to just keep on dropping the bombs and damaging the whole uh, whole targets. Uh, this is this is your predominant objective. You are a bomber. You have to keep on destroying the ground targets. Um, so I have a I have a one uh, one approach. Now I'm just oh, uh, very close to reload all of the bombs. Try to time it up as well as I can uh, of of reloading the bombs and having another approach. Because of course, uh, if if you'll be flying too too long around the base, the artillery will just keep on firing at you. So again. Uh, I managed to reload the bombs and keep on drawing and destroying all of the uh, ground targets I can I can quickly reach on my approach. Um, yeah, I got some damage on the on the second pass, so let's try to quickly fly away uh, and uh, some of the health bar for the plane uh, to be recovered uh, and yet yeah, try to make another approach and we'll see how many bombs will be will be able to jump uh, on our third approach. Uh, okay, so so my health bar is just just slowly recovering. Also, my bombs are almost reloaded. So let's turn around and uh, repeat it again. Keep on looking at the minimap. There is no planes. And there is no threat for me. Uh, looks like my team managed to just take that uh, middle base, uh, which actually gained me a few points because of course uh, helping uh, to capture the bases, uh, destroy the bases. You are uh, you are getting extra points. So yeah, I managed to drop two bombs. Uh, and I was shot down by the AA artillery. So let's speed it up the game again, uh, the boring bit, uh, quickly rejoin the game. And I thought, okay, I'll quickly rejoin it. I'm not even going to reload the bomb. I'll try to drop it as quickly as I can, but looks like the, the base was captured uh, by our team. So as there was no more bases to go for me and drop the bombs, I thought like, <laughs> There is, uh, there is no other way for me, uh, I can play with it now, uh, the only thing I can do is try to uh, take enemy planes down, so uh, let's see where I have some chances. So again, check the minimap, uh, and of course I'm not, I'm not going to just go uh, to the area where there is a loads of planes, because there is no chance for me, but if I'll just pick the single plane, uh, like this one, and it's almost, <laughs> almost, f yeah, uh, it didn't have much health uh, health bar, so I was I was really lucky that to manage to put few bullets and just take him down a few extra points. The, so I, I think within this battle I managed to take at least two planes down with the bomber. Um, so as you can see, the, the battle has ended with uh, over twenty seven thousand points, which I think for the bomber is is really good. Uh, quite a few good medals and a grade one bomber badge. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, gameplay. I hope I sh I've managed to give you a few more hints and tips. And again, please, uh, I said many times over the battle, keep on checking your minimap. The minimap is your key. Sometimes you're just, just drawn to the battle so much you're not checking it, and then out of the blue you're flying into the group of planes, uh, and then we are, uh, we are taken down with no time Let's have a quick check on the battle summary. As you can see, over 27,000 personal points, over 105,000 damage to ground targets, and even two aircrafts destroyed. I hope you enjoyed watching this gameplay replay, and uh, allowed, which allowed you to expand on the initial film I made about the bomber tactics. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. I look forward to see you during the battle. Bye bye.